Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan. If you saw my video yesterday, then you saw our flip through for our new teacher planner, which I am just so excited about. And today I'm gonna show you how I would use our stickers to set up a week in this planner. So let's start by flipping to this page that has the little boxes. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna set this up how I would have used it if I was teaching. So I had, I taught reading and writing. So I'm gonna put the writing sticker and the reading sticker. And then I'm gonna put a meeting sticker here And then I'm going to put grade papers. Actually, I think I'm not going to put the grade papers. I'm actually going to leave this like this. And then I'm going to go to the words. Or is there a testing sticker? I don't remember, let me look. Well, I think, I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put a lesson plan sticker. And then Yeah, we'll go ahead and put a grade paper sticker. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put this here. And this here then because I know I'm not going to need all of these grade papers especially like I'm probably not going to be as a teacher I would usually grade towards the end of the week um, so I'm just going to put like a decorative box right here and then I'm gonna go and take, so a lot of times like in reading, um, I, I taught a advanced, like you might have honors and then you might have a regular class. So I might take some of these and split them in half so that I could do each class a little bit different Okay, and then that Wednesday, I'm gonna go and grab a testing sticker. This could be a test day. Okay, and then meetings. There's a faculty meeting after school. Let's actually put this over here on Friday. The reason I changed it is because that was yellow and yellow. So 
So I'm actually just going to put a blue one. Um, and then down here, I could go, maybe there's parent-teacher conferences on Thursday that I've scheduled. Down here, learning target, plan out your learning targets. Um, I'm gonna put prep on Friday so that you can prep things before the weekend. And then maybe make copies on Thursday. Put in a quote sticker here. Put in a box sticker here. Now, this is like very functional. It's cute because it's stickers, but it's more functional than cute. Um, which is what I usually went for in my work planner, in my school planner. But I could come in here and put like a cute sticker over here, trim it like this. And then I could take the other end of these books, put them over here. And then if you need like checklist or dot stickers, I would consider adding in a pastel basics to your order because it has similar colors and you've got more like smaller boxes and dot stickers and checklist stickers and things like that in this sticker book. So I am going to use some of these to mark upcoming things. important things and then you could also use some of these on your weekly view too and you could also take one of these checklist stickers And you could place it over here. And the dots on our checklist stickers actually line up perfectly with the lines. And you would just cut off the bottom. So if you're interested in having dot stickers and checklist stickers that coordinate with this planner, I highly suggest grabbing a pastel basics book to go along with it because it goes really, really well. So this is just kind of an overview, an example of how I might set up this planner if I was still teaching. Um, again, it's more functional than decorative, but I think that's the point when you're a teacher. You don't really have time for super decorative most weeks. Um, but yeah, I hope this gives you an idea of how you can use the weekly pages. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how you could set up the monthly pages actually Friday, sorry, Friday, that video will be up. And then these release on Friday. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and head to kelvaplan.com on April 14th to grab your teacher planner, sticker book, and sticky notes. Happy planning!